calling all of my fellow people out there, maybe you, that are experiencing or have experienced jaw pain, mouth tension, jaw tension, anything around here that has your attention due to pain, tension, maybe even a little bit of lack of mobility. Any guesses what I'm gonna help you release today? <laughs> Isn't my artwork fabulous? Oh, hey guys, it's Alicia, by the way, from mobilitymastery.com. And yes, today I am gonna show you how to release your tongue. Okay, I'm actually dead serious and it feels a little weird. Um, I'm gonna look ridiculous here on YouTube, but if it helps you, it's worth it. And this is actually something that I do with myself, usually alone and usually in the car when nobody's around. <laughs> um, but just a couple things here before I actually show you how to release your tongue. Um, I'm also gonna show you a really great stretch that I like to do that is probably gonna be very familiar to any of you who've done yoga. Um, it's the lion's breath, um, or I think that's what it's called, uh, roar or stretch, whatever. So that may feel familiar. Um, and then yes, I'm gonna show you how to release your tongue. So why the heck would you wanna release your tongue? Um, well, actually you have a lot of fascia there. There's a lot of fascia in the tongue. There are a bunch of nerves there um, in the mouth area, obviously. I mean, we have fascia everywhere. Um, your tongue is a muscle and also is controlled by other muscles. So it can actually have knots in it. Isn't that weird that you have fascial adhesions in your tongue? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna take this anywhere naughty. Um, <laughs> so it's, you know, if you have accumulated tension there, if you have, if you hold your tight, uh, your jaw tight, if you have TMJ, if you clench your jaw at night, if you grind your teeth at night, um, if, you know, you're not holding your tongue naturally on the roof of your mouth, or maybe like me, your teeth are super crooked and it affects where you can or cannot place your tongue to rest, um, then you might accumulate tongue tension. <laughs> Um, and like I said, it can result in jaw pain, um, among other things. So that is the main reason you would do it. Uh, if you're super in tune with your body, you might actually notice the tension you're holding in your tongue. Um, that's actually what I use this for. It's like when I notice, um, sometimes if I've had like a full day of filming, for example, and I'm talking a lot and using my mouth, um, I will go in there and, and release this. I don't do it a lot. Um, but I do actually do it. Um, so that's why you would wanna use it. Now, I will say that this isn't necessarily my go-to for things like TMJ pain or jaw pain um, or you know jaw clicking or anything like that. Um, I would actually have you go and release your SCM fascia and your scalenes uh, probably before doing this, maybe even getting into some of this stuff. Um, and since we're on the topic, I hadn't actually planned to do that, do this with you, but I'm just gonna show you something I do real quick. Um, it's not a technique. I don't even have it in my you know, course, for example, on fascia release. It's not, a, not something I teach, but it is something I'll do on myself. So I'll just use some light compression anywhere in the jaw area. So, I mean, you could be kind of by your ear, you could be right at the jaw joint, right? You could be a little lower, but anywhere in there you can do this. So just light compression. Um, I am using quite a bit of, uh, not force, but like I'm strong. The compression is strong, but it's still gentle. Uh, so it's not like stabbing in. Um, but these guys right here, these knots, if you have them are kind of slippery suckers. Um, and they tend to just pop right out. So you kind of want to like strongly compress and then just slowly open your mouth. So that's basically it. So you want to do it over and over on all the spots that you feel you need it. So that's one thing you could add into the series if your number one priority right now is jaw pain or jaw tension. Um, and then the other thing that I mentioned was that lion's breath. So this is a yoga thing and it looks real funny, but it feels great. <laughs> um, so tap into your inner lion. I'm a Leo, so that's easy. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, you're basically, I can't talk when I do it. So 
I'm going to kind of verbally walk you through it, then I'll do it um, a couple times so you can see how it's done if you've never heard of it or done it. Um, and I really encourage you to like go full out with it. Don't just like kind of half-ass it because um, really going full out with it is what gets you the benefit. So you're going to take a really deep breath in. And then when you exhale, you are going to stick out your tongue and open your mouth as wide as you can. So the important things here are to open as wide as you can and stick your tongue out <laughs> as far as you can, you know, kind of like that. Um, and that is going to create a really good stretch for all of the stuff you just can't get to. That's like in the throat and way in the back, the back of your tongue. Um, so it looks like this. I forgot to mention you're supposed to roar a little bit or breathe like a lion, I guess. <laughs> so um, for some reason, it really doesn't seem to work as well if you don't make the sound. I don't know why, but if I went, you know, you it's like you want to just uh, like let it out, right? I don't know. It just helps somehow. So once again, I'll walk you through it. Big deep breath. Open as wide as you can, stick your tongue out as far as you can and make that sound with it, whatever sound you want. I mean, if you want a full on roar, go for it. Um, but I recommend maybe doing it alone or in your car. So big breath in. <sighs> so um, my right jaw kind of pops before it opens fully. I don't know if that's visible, but um, I historically have had a lot of jaw tension, jaw pain, uh, trouble kind of opening my mouth um, and still have a bunch of knots here. I will mention since this video is predominantly focused on jaw pain and TMJD that my whole philosophy is always about finding the root cause and it may or may not be physical. So there's a nervous system component here and then there's a um, personal component as far as I have discovered that a lot of people, including myself, that struggle with jaw tension and jaw, you know, resulting jaw pain from that tension, oftentimes are people who are not speaking up. They're swallowing their truth, they're biting their tongue, they're, you know, metaphorically speaking, like not allowing themselves to open their mouth and actually speak their truth. Um, and when I healed my trauma and really started speaking my truth and saying my no and creating boundaries and um, really standing for what felt right to me in the world and vocalizing that to the people in my life. My jaw pain, it didn't disappear completely, but it, it was so not noticeable, it wasn't a problem anymore. So that's really what did it for me more so than anything physical because I had tried a bunch of physical stuff. I let rolfers go into my mouth with their fingers and poke everywhere and chase tension and um, do crazy stuff that hurt so bad and helped me so much for one full day, but then it came back. So um, it was really, I guess maybe a combination you might say, but it was more so the other stuff that helped me. So having said that, it is still useful to go in there and do some of the physical stuff. Um, and if you notice anything came in, coming up when you do it, I hope that you allow yourself the space to just let it happen, whatever it is, whether it's fear or rage or anger or grief. Um, and if nothing comes up, nothing comes up. Uh, okay, so we're gonna release the tongue now. You ready? <laughs> um, I'm not sure I am. Um, no, I am, it's okay. So um, you might wanna actually like palpate your tongue and you can do that. You're gonna use your um, index finger and your thumb for this, that, that is your compression tool. So you don't need anything else to do what I'm about to show you. Um, and I can't really talk while I do this one. Um, but what I mean by palpating the tongue, what it looks like is this. And when I'm doing that, I'm feeling for adhesions. And believe it or not, they're actually pretty easy to find because as soon as I start pinching it, I'm like, whoa, this area right here is like dense and hard and I crunch down on it. And when I go over just a centimeter or so, it's like soft and squishy. Um, so you want to find out like, where is that? Is it more on the left? Is it more on the right? Get to know the area, right? Um, and then this is just going to take some practice of, of you know, the, there's... It's, it's gonna be somewhat individual, what works for you, um, how much pressure you're gonna use between these guys, right? Um, but you're using your thumb and your index finger to compress 
the adhesion, right? So I'm all about fascia release, which means compression um, and then movement-based, active movement, shearing of those fascial fibers. So we're still gonna try to do that here with the tongue. So what that means is compressing on both sides um, with these fingers, right? And then you're gonna use your tongue movement to kind of shear the fibers, hopefully. Um, it's not gonna be super precise here um, in the tongue region, so just do what you can. Um, and I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is just like do a couple, you can watch, and then I'm gonna deconstruct what I do um, so it kind of makes sense to you because there are a couple different ways you can do this, but there's not that much variety in terms of like movement or what to do, what not to do. It's kind of just like do these one or two things and um, that's it. Uh, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna come closer. <laughs> I just want you to be able to see this. So I'm gonna give you a um, front view and then maybe a side view if that's helpful. Uh, okay, so. So it might be hard to tell on camera but I'm trying to not move my fingers. I am not massaging my tongue. I'm not pulling my tongue. I'm compressing and then my tongue is moving. I'm pulling my tongue back into my mouth and the action of that under compression is what's gonna help release some of that fascia. So I'll show you again. And you can um, notice this time, I'll try to do both in one if I can and if, if not, I'll separate them for you. But notice that um, uh, I might just pull my tongue straight back on one and then I might try to wiggle it <laughs> um, with another. Those are really your only options as far as movement goes here that I'm aware of anyway. Yeah, so that wiggling looks really weird, feels weird. Um, so either are totally okay. Um, figure out what works best for you. Notice after you try it, and obviously like use clean hands and you don't want like long fingernails or anything, um, but notice how it feels after. Like notice if you feel anything, if that part of your tongue feels different. Like right now I'm actually quite aware of like the, like the line <laughs> that I was on, um, probably from a nerve standpoint, um, but it feels like something has changed. I'm not sure if it's for good or neutral. It's not bad, it doesn't feel bad. Um, but you don't want, you want to make sure just like everywhere else in your body that you are being safe, that you're not using too much compression, that you're not being violent with it. You want to strongly, but gently compress the tissue and then use movement to release it. Um, and you don't want to go past your edge. So if this is like a really sensitive area for you, just go gentler. Um, but I'll show you once more with a side view. Um, all right. Okay, that time when I did it, I actually noticed that I was kind of curling my tongue up a bit to create more time under um, compression and movement because if my tongue was down, pointing down, it was just gonna slip um, right out. So I'll show you one more time so you can catch that. I like the wiggling. <laughs> It tends to do more from a release standpoint. And it also, um, I think, covers a bit more surface area. And um, I just feel better after versus the one straight line. But that's me. So that's really it. Um, sometimes uh, when I'm doing this, just kind of instinctively, I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now to what I do and why I do it. Um, sometimes if, if I am noticing a lot of tension here and I'm wanting to address it just in the moment while I'm driving my car or, um, whatever, uh, I, I might actually hold the compression a little longer, um, and use less rapid movement. So what that might look like. So what I'm trying to do when I do that is to really isolate the adhesion and give it a really good compression rather than just boom, boom, and we're out. Because I think, um, I don't have a clock on me, but I'm pretty sure what I just was demoing was lasting maybe 10 seconds instead of the usual 30 that I like for fascia release. Um, so play around with it. 
play with your tongue? That sounds so weird. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. I know this is like such a weird topic, but it also can be super useful to any of you struggling with jaw pain, mouth tension, you know, all this stuff here. So um, someone recently asked me too about swallowing um, on the channel of tight fascia could affect swallowing. Perhaps something in the tongue um, might be contributing to that in terms of tight fascia. I don't know, it might be other stuff too, like throat stuff. Um, and like I mentioned, if you have really serious uh, jaw pain, TMJD, um, you'll wanna get into those SCNs um, and more of this anterior neck stuff, maybe even your pec region. Um, and believe it or not, your biceps could even be contributing to all of this because it's kind of pulling on your jaw and then your jaw might be irritated. But if you're somebody who tends to clench your jaw and you hold a lot of tension in here, I would love for you to ask yourself if you're somebody who either historically or maybe still today or currently are not speaking your truth, if you're holding back from speaking up or speaking out, um, and no judgment for me, I did that forever, but maybe just ask yourself if that's you. And if it is, consider changing that um, at least in addition to doing some of the physical because um, a lot of the time I believe that is the root of such um, intense jaw tension where you're clenching it and holding it tight all the time and not opening your mouth. I used to talk with like a clenched jaw all the time. Um, so I hope this was helpful for those of you with jaw pain, tongue tension, um, stuff in this region. Definitely give me a comment below on this one and let me know if you tried it and if it works for you If you've adapted it and maybe tried something else share your adaptations below so other people can benefit If you have a success story then make sure to share that so someone else can feel inspired to do this very weird thing or a couple of things um, In this region to feel better and have more freedom uh, And of course if you have noticed a pattern of not speaking up related to your jaw pain Please share that because the more we all share the less alone we feel because the truth is a lot of us are going through the same thing. We think we're alone with it, but we're really not. So comment below. I can't wait to read your comments. If you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos that go out multiple times a week. And I've got some free resources for you when you join my email community and also share tips and stories I don't anywhere else in my weekly newsletters. And you can join by clicking the link below in the description of this video. So I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.